Welcome. In this short video, I'm going to show you how the memory LOD tools work. And this is a specific module designed for the unofficial ARM Assault 2 modding toolbox. And it presents the opportunity to uh, create memory points directly in Max. And the biggest advantage of that is that, uh, first of all, you can uh, confirm to your um, naming conventions that the toolbox already uh, uh, gave the possibility to do. And you can test your animations, so basically the position of your axis uh, before you start making the model.cug file uh, and testing it out in Bulldozer. Here you can directly see how your control surfaces will behave, how they will rotate, uh, and make a few notes about what the angle is going to be. So you can uh, put it in and, uh, yeah, through this uh, tool, um, the, the tool set, um, you can directly export a, a special file which contains all the uh, coordinates of the uh, memory points in this model and import it into O2. Uh, the important thing here is to remember that um, the model should be done in uh, meters so before you start modeling you should set up your project in meters uh, and import it one to one. If that is the case then the points will import at precise the same position as you have it here and obviously will conform to your model. Uh, let's explain something about the actual module. You have the option to add points, uh, create points, uh, uh, create axis using two points and an object. So you can define the pivot of a uh, of a, any specific object. Um, these are some view tools handy. You can freeze or hide points. Uh, if I hide geometry, you can see that I have two points here. If I freeze them, I can't select them. If I hide them, they're hidden. There. In the geometry, you can also freeze the geometry quickly. Uh, these points, let me just delete them. Just to demonstrate. Okay, um, and of course, you get a list that which shows all the points that are available. Um, another handy thing is that obviously while well, placing points can be quite um, annoying, uh, you can use the native Max tools to make it easier. Uh, so for example, snapping to midpoints, to vertices, stuff like that. And now it's going to work, so I'm just going to change to midpoint for the next demonstration. Alright, uh, we're going to start with <coughs> the elevator. This is the object that I want to define access for. Notice that uh, all the objects that I'm going to animate, I've already named them using the name selection module. Uh, this is not so important, but it will make your life easier if they're named before you start making this, uh, because the access tool takes the name of the object to, to name the access. Okay, let's move on. Uh, so let's create two points. Our snapping tools are on. Uh, snap to the midpoint here. Snap to the midpoint there. Okay, and you can see the precision is very easy to determine. Uh, I can uh, I can still uh, control this point just like any other object in max so I can move it if I don't like the position and then uh, change everything um, but now you can see man point one man point two they're selectable uh, now I want to define them as an axis I'll open up uh, the two point axis tool with point one notice that I can't pick any object so there's no obstruction going on it's just the points and part I want to the left elevator click OK and an interesting thing happens. First of all, if I update the list, I can see that these points have been renamed. Uh, basically, they take the name of the object and add underscore axis. Um, and double clicking will select both of them at the same time, even if you double click on one. Uh, what did it do for the object? The object, its pivot has changed now and lies exactly in the middle of these two points. So if I switch to rotation and click the coordinate system to be a local. Now 
I can preview the rotation exactly how it will be in game given that uh, this is where the access points will be left Yeah, I like that. So I'm just gonna uh, link this to that. So the trim tab stays in. Yeah, it looks good. Okay. This you can do the same for that one, but uh, it's irrelevant. So I'm just gonna keep on going with the left side. Uh, again, I'm gonna just turn snap on, create two new points. An object. Okay. Again, I'm not set as your name. Local rotation. Snap this off. Now look at that. Very fast, very simple to use. I can already see. If I put it in the original position, I can know if I look above the gizmo uh, I can see that it should be around 40 degrees which is a normal full flap setting or so uh, it looks good nothing is in the way so as I said you can eye the rotation angles uh, to input them later into your model.cg file and for the last thing let's uh, animate the, the rear wheel okay I'm gonna use some kind of other snapping I'm gonna use uh, pivot snap because this uh, cylinder has its pivot exactly in the middle so I'm gonna use that position to be our center rotation just update yeah, our flap axis and elevator axis are there uh, turn the snap on one two at exactly the same position so select one of these points and I will move it vertically okay now I can create the axis for this strut Okay, I'm gonna link the wheel to the strut because obviously it moves uh, along with it. Our wheel will be rotating. Okay, so if you had geometry, this is this is these are our points that we've just set up. Uh, I don't need to select them anything, they're, they're right here in this list. Uh, I'm just going to export them. I'm going to put them into um, my blog. A special MLF file. I'm going to open O2. Uh, I'm going to make sure that there is no memory load already in the load menu going to start a script. A script, by the way, which is uh, written by TD, a very, uh, a very nifty script that reads the files that are output and uh, creates the memory load. Read MLF. Yep. I will select my... Click OK. And that's it. Our memory load is created. Uh, our points, as you can see, are here. Flap elevator, aileron, and wheel strut. And that's basically it. Th this way you can build up your complex uh, uh, access carried over straight into O2 and not have to worry about it. So without even leaving a 3D Studio Max.